If you click this video, I'm guessing you want to start an online business in 2023 and beyond with as little money up front as possible. So pay attention because today I'm going to show you five online business ideas that you can start right now for $100 or less. I'll share what the model is, pros and cons to each, the starting costs and earning potential, and a real life example from each of these five business ideas. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean Anthony, and on this channel, I share lessons from generating millions in online sales through my various online businesses, a few of which are actually on this list that I'm gonna share with you today. So stick around and watch this video until the end, and let's jump straight into these five online business ideas you can start for $100 or less. Number one is a content repurposing agency. Now what you're doing here is you're finding creators who have longer form content. This could be podcasts, interviews, YouTube videos, and you are taking it, you're chopping it up, you're editing it, and you're reposting it across short form video channels like shorts, TikToks, and reels. Now the pros to this business model is it's in high demand right now because short form content is in high demand. I actually just recently hired someone to help me with this. The other thing is you can charge a high ticket four figure per month retainer, and this is a recurring retainer to do this as a service. So the person I hired, I'm paying them around $2,000 a month, and they are editing my short form content as well as some of my YouTube videos. Cons of this business model is there is high demand, but there's also a ton of competition. So every day I'm getting multiple DMs from people on Twitter and emails from people offering to run this as a service to me. So they all look the same and it's in high demand, but there's a lot of people offering this exact same service. And so because of all this competition, you're gonna need to have some skills to stand out or you're gonna need to work with someone who does have those skills, or you're gonna need to tailor the service to a specific industry or a specific niche. Now the starting costs for this business model are probably just website hosting so that people can see what you do and then also a business email or a business domain. Those will run you combined probably around $10 a month or so. And so it's pretty cheap, it's pretty lean to start this and get it going. As far as earning potential, it's definitely a six figure plus earning potential. I've seen people on Twitter who went from $0 to 10K plus a month in just three to four months offering this as a service. So I'm not saying you're gonna do it that quick, but there is potential there to get this going to six figures plus fairly quickly. Now, an example of this business model, I'll share two. Number one is a company called Reaper purpose house. And they're more like an agency. There's multiple people on the team that take your, your longer form content and can slice it up across multiple different short form channels. Another person that I started talking to on Twitter, I haven't hired him, but I've heard good things. His name is Jordan. And he's, I think he's a one person army and he does this as a service for agency owners and coaches. And so those are two examples of people offering this as a service and running a content repurposing agency or service. Number two is a YouTuber. This one's pretty straightforward. It's exactly what I'm doing now. And all you're doing as a YouTuber is posting videos on a certain niche or a certain topic, and you're growing an audience and you're monetizing your audience through things like products, AdSense revenue, sponsorships, and selling affiliate products. Now, the reason I say YouTube and not any other platform is YouTube is unique in that it has both long and short form content. So you have YouTube shorts, which is kind of like TikToks and reels. And then you have the standard YouTube videos, which are a lot longer. And the upside with YouTube YouTube is it's like a search engine. I have videos from two years ago that are still getting views and you can't do that on any of these other platforms like Facebook or Instagram. And so YouTube has this organic search traffic that can go on for years and years and years. Now the pros of being a YouTuber and having this as your business model is if you can stick to this long term, there are tons of opportunities to monetize and create relationships with other people. And also having a loyal audience is like a cheat code. It makes everything else you do easier. If you want to start a new business, you can go back to your existing audience and tell them more about that. And I'm sure a big portion of those people would want to sign up to your new thing. And if you want to start selling, let's say you have informational products or online courses, you want to start selling maybe merchandise, you can easily go to your audience and do that. So having an audience long term is like a cheat code for anything that you want to do in your life or business. The cons of being a YouTuber is it takes time. This is one model that takes a lot longer than the others. It could be 6, 12, 24 months before you start to see real money come in. And so it takes a long time. You have to be patient. You have to think long term. Now, the starting cost for this model to be a YouTuber is really just having a camera and you can use your smartphone. You can use an iPhone or Android to get started. And I'd also recommend a cheap microphone. So I have a lavalier mic. This is not a lavalier mic. This is more higher end mic, but 
you can find one on Amazon for 20 to 50 bucks and it doesn't cost very much for you to get a high quality mic. So video, audio, once you got that covered, you can become a YouTuber. All you gotta do is start going out and posting content. Now an example of a YouTuber, is you can look at my channel on a smaller scale. There's another guy who's named Nate O'Brien. He talks about online business and personal finance and productivity. So similar topics to mine. And I don't think he sells any products, but he makes money through AdSense revenue and sponsorship deals from what I've seen and affiliate products. So those are a couple examples. My channel, Nate O'Brien of this YouTuber business idea. The third online business idea is a digital product creator. This one goes hand in hand with being a YouTuber or having an audience because what you're doing here is you're posting content, teaching your audience something, and you're selling digital products to help them achieve a certain result. Now, what is a digital product? To me, it's any product that can be delivered and sold digitally. So examples are tools and templates, online courses, even coaching and consulting programs. Pros to this business model is it's extremely high profit. It could even be 100% potentially. And the reason why is it doesn't cost you anything to sell a digital product. When you're selling a physical product, you got to pay for the inventory, you got to ship it out. And so there's extra costs involved. When you're selling a digital product, there's no extra cost because it's digital. So you can sell it over and over and over again, and it doesn't cost you extra to deliver that product to a customer. You're also making your customer and client's lives better by helping them achieve a certain result by selling a digital product that solves a problem for them. The con to this business model is you need an audience. So you're going to have to have at least a small audience somewhere. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It could be on any platform. So Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever platform that you choose, you have to have an audience because those are the people who are going to buy your digital products. So this is why I said it goes hand in hand with the YouTuber, because once you go and build up your audience, you'll have something to sell them. So it can be combined with that. The starting cost for this business model as a digital product creator is $0. So you can, you can pay as you go. So you can use a platform like Gumroad to host and sell your digital products. And if you want to have a website, and an email list, which can help you to sell your products more and tell people about it, you can use a platform like Substack, which is also pay as you go. So you can get started for $0. And this is a potential seven to eight figure business on the higher end. Now, an example of this business model is this is something that I do. I sell digital products of my own. So you can look at my channel and how I do that. Another channel that I enjoy is a guy named Tech Lead. And so he's also a YouTuber. He sells programs and trainings on how to grow a YouTube audience and how to help people with coding and getting jobs at big companies like Google and Facebook. And so he has digital products and courses to help people with that. So those are two examples of digital product creators. And I love this model. I love helping people with my products and helping them solve a problem and achieve a result. And if you enjoy solving problems too, and you have an audience, this is a great business model for you. The fourth business idea is an organic dropshipping store. My first business that helped me to quit my job back in 2016 was actually a dropshipping store. I was selling these alternative fashion products and I would run Facebook ads to sell the products and advertise it. And when someone would buy, I would ship it out or my supplier would ship it out to the customer. But what we're talking about here is organic drop shipping. So I used to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads. Now with the short form content platforms that we have now like TikTok, you can grow an organic e-commerce business and drop shipping store using just organic and free methods. So what you're gonna do here is find a trending physical product. You can create a video, potential viral video that goes on a platform like YouTube Shorts or TikTok or Reels or all of the above and rack up views that way, rack up attention and you can sell your product and as soon as someone buys then it's shipped out directly to your customer. So you don't have to hold any inventory. The pros to this business model is it's a lot higher profit because you're not spending money on ads like Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads. You're also able to launch an e-commerce business without spending much money up front. And you don't have to carry in any, any inventory because as a drop shipping model, the supplier ships it out to your customer only when they buy. The cons to this model is you need to find a good product to sell. And you also will need to be a little more patient because organic traffic can take a little longer than using paid methods like Facebook ads. The starting cost for this model is around $29 a month if you're using a platform like Shopify to host your products and the earning potential easily in the six to seven figures. My e-commerce business was doing well into the seven figures and you can use organic strategies like we have today with TikTok and, and these viral platforms to get to that six to seven figures your level two. An example of this is a company that I found on TikTok called The Stretchy Bar. On one of their videos, just one single video, they have 52.4 million views. 
Now you do the math, let's just say that 10% of people click over to their site. That's still 5.24 million or so views. And if you say 5% of people buy, or let's just cut that in half, two and a half percent of people buy, I think their product is around $59. You do the math, that's a lot of money for one single video. So the potential with this is, is pretty big if you find a good product and it goes viral with your video. If I were to get back into e-commerce and start a new store from scratch, this is exactly what I would do. I didn't have short form content and short form viral videos in this capacity back when I was running this business. And this makes it a lot easier easier to get started and make a lot of money in this business without spending much up front. The fifth and final business idea that you can start for $100 or less is an email list manager. What you're doing here is you're working with successful business owners who have an email list and you're writing emails on their behalf to their list to sell their products and services. You get paid a monthly recurring fee or a monthly recurring retainer, which could be in the four to five figures if you're good. And, or you can get paid a percentage of sales that you bring in. Now the pros to this business model are it's a highly desirable service. What you're really selling is money at a discount. What you're doing is you're generating them five bucks and you're asking for one to $2 in return. So you're selling money at a discount and this is a highly desirable desirable service for any business that wants to make more money, which of course is every business. You're also getting paid to learn a money-making skill. And this is a skill that you can apply and use for the rest of your career across any business or venture that you get into. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're selling a product or service and you are doing any kind of writing, this is going to be a skill that you can use for the rest of your life, the rest of your career. The cons to this business model, which aren't really cons, it just takes a little while to learn the skill. It could take a couple months. The other con is it's difficult to get your first client. That's probably the hardest part. But once you get your first client and you get them a result, it's a lot easier to get client two, three, four, five plus. The startup costs for this are just $5 or so for website hosting and another $5 a month to have a business domain. So you can reach out to potential clients and you also look professional because you have an actual website domain. The earning potential, if you're operating solo, which is totally fine as a freelancer, easily six figures or more. I know many different people who are doing six figures or more as an email list manager. And if you run an agency, it could be seven figures plus. A couple examples of this business model. If you go to growthresponse.io, that's my service. It's it's like an email list manager service. It's 100% performance based. So I'm only paid on a percentage of the sales I bring in and I operate, I consider myself solo. I do have some help, they're virtual assistants, but I'm not running an agency. I'm doing most, if not all of the writing and the sales. An agency example is a guy named Troy Erickson. And if you just type his name, I think his company is called the Email Paramedic. He runs an email agency, an email list management agency. So he works with seven to eight to nine figure companies and he manages their email list and he has copywriters that are trained up on his team as well. And he does well into the seven figures. So if I were starting from scratch again, the email list manager is probably the service that I would pick because it sets you up nicely in the long term. It gives you skills, you're getting paid to learn, and you're networking with these successful business owners that you can talk about potentially for starting a YouTube channel and to start creating your and selling your own digital products too. So becoming an email list manager and becoming skilled in this position and in this business model will set you up nicely for every other thing that I talked about on this list. So those were the five online business ideas that you can start in 2023 with $100 or less. To launch these businesses, you'll need skills and things like creating content, marketing and sales, getting clients, writing emails. Those are just a few of the skills. Luckily, you have my channel where I talk about a lot of these things and I'm gonna continue to put out more content to help you with these. Now, if you're interested in learning more about writing emails that sell, which is mainly what I do across all my different businesses, I'll have a link to one of my uh, free playlists on this channel called the Email Marketing Rainmakers which will teach you a lot more about how to write emails that sell and how to get paid to do it for clients. So check that out. It'll be linked to somewhere in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.